Okay, so we will change it into comma. And then we just click uh, finish. They're perfect. And our data exported uh, perfectly. And we will go to file and click save as. So, da -da. oh. So, browse. Okay, and then we will save as uh, Excel. <laughs> Or we could save as a CVS anyway. Um, but now we should be fine. Click save. Okay, then close everything. Close everything. We going to oh, we going to delete unwanted uh, columns. So we click in the A column heading cell. Press hold and shift key and click column B head cell to select this two column and click select and press delete um, and then we're going to click the column B heading cell uh, which now we will have the thing and we're going to go all the way and delete those um, so we will open our table back Excel Oh, Excel, all right. And then arts table. Oopsies. Okay, arts table. All right, so what we need is um, the name and name and then um, Arts, where is arts? Hold a shift. Name and arts wages. Oh, not shift, control. And then as index. Index. And then name. Just go to copy, go to file, and new. And then control V. That's the three rows we need. Um, there are many ways to do it, but anyway. Um, then we're going to sort the table, but we have to save it first. And control A, control C. Um, actually, I can just add here uh, three. I can just say three. So I don't have a lot of table, um, and then I'm not, I don't need it. Okay, then I'm going to sort it. So uh, select A, B, C, D. We will select column A, B, C. So creating a bar chart from the raw data requires manual work, but it is not too difficult. The preparation process requires sorting data by the column being used to make the chart, uh, taking notes, counting frequencies, and typing some information. Now we select column A, B, C, and we're going to sort, and we're going to data, and then sort. Oh, no, uh, data and sort. Um, we have to see either we will do ascending or descending. So ensure that we select my data has headers uh, checkbox. Um, okay. Hmm, there are some row doesn't have any record. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, data. Okay, sort ascending. Expand, continue with the current selection, expand. Okay, uh, ensure that select my data has headers checkbox. Select wages and sort by column. Wages, okay, wages, arts, and go to sort descending okay all right and now we're going to create a bar chart so count the frequencies in the row um, so that counting is not actually needed in this case because 
Those statistics are available in the figure following by step four. We're going to save some time uh, that the left side of each class, for example, the three thirty-five thousand. Um, in 35,000 to 400,000 is included in the class if there are any states with that value, but the right side, 40,000, is not. The 40,000 is in the next class, 40,000 to 45,000. So to create a new spreadsheet, uh, that we're going to click the plus sign right next to it, and then we will say bar chart. Bar chart. And then um, the following data um, we have to type. Oh my god. Okay, so I have wages um, and frequency. Uh, frequency. And then this is 35 uh, US dollar sign, US dollar sign. 35 to uh, 40 and frequency is 9 and then um, okay then I have um, 40 to 40 to 45 and I have 45 to 50 and I have uh, 50 to 55 and then 55 to 60 okay our bar chart is ready the table is ready then we're going to select all those data oh please uh, click cancel I'm not gonna um, select on it and then click cell one and press shift key and we can do this and we can just select on it and click insert and then chart we will choose column bar chart there and 2d so that's our chart and now we're going to create a scatter plot. We can easily create a scatter plot with a two attribute by ordering the column of the attribute from left to right in the spreadsheet so that the horizontal axis attribute appear first. Um, the object here is to investigate if the higher cost of living index attribute correlates with higher wages for workers in the arts field. Uh, wage arts attribute so it is natural to place the cost of living index on the horizontal axis so we will move the index attribute on the left of the wage arts attribute so now we're going to click this tab back here and then we're going to select column B select column B um, actually it's right here select column B and then uh, right click the selection and click insert there and the step create a blank column now B to the left area so now this one um, so to the left of wage are our data which is now in column C select column D the index data and right click the selection and click uh, cut and back to column B and we now um, right click and just click paste all right so we paste it now the column our order name index and wages so we're going to select in the range of um, 1 B1 B1 to uh, 50 C50 uh, hit shift and then click insert and then scatter plot so uh, the first chart here scatter plot and and this is the weight arches and the step produced the following chart it needs some um, 
refinements. Now we're going to modify the scatter plot axis、uh, ranges. Now、uh, we will limit the ranges of the vertical axis and horizontal. So、uh, zoom in a little bit and full screen, and then horizontal axis. The data we can see the pattern. Right-click the vertical. Right-click the vertical, and then we can say Format Axis,、um, and then change the bound、um, minimum, minimum to、uh, three five one two three, and the maximum bound is、um, nine one two three four, and close the format. And closed it. So right-click the horizontal, and horizontal is right here. And right-click on it, and format axis. So then the minimum is to eighty, a zero, and the maximum is to one fifty. And then close it. Adjust to the size chart so it's about to square. So let's adjust it. Perfect. And it's a nice one, and format axis. So right-click vertical, um, and and then format axis again. Okay, format axis again. And this time in the format axis panel, we're going to click number. Uh, click number is which is right here, and we will scroll down and select currency for cat category. Um, category currency, and then decimal places. Um,、uh, type zero, which is zero here, and close the format. There, and then label each axis. So the user interface may may var vary from one used in this, depending on the Microsoft version. So click anywhere on the chat and. We will element button、uh, select axis title and、uh, deselect char chart title. So、uh, chart title deselect, and we want chart title. I don't want a channel line. It's nice, and if you want a legend, which is fine, but I don't want it. So、um, deselect chart select axis title. Okay. And axis title. So for the axis title horizontal, we do is、uh, we, I'm going to type in is cost of living, cost of living index index, and the vertical I will do is、um, for vertical we have average、um, arts. Income. There. So, and we go into modify point、uh, symbol. So click anywhere in the chart and under chart tools, we go into click format and under file on the upper left, we go into、uh, select series of wage art.、Um, so here we will do is、uh, click format.、Um, In the chart and under chart tools, let's see under chart tools, chart area, format chart, uh, chart tools, format chart area, um, and Siri, format Siri, and fill the marker. Let's see. Okay, chart options and border. So that's what we want. Okay,、uh, select wages series. Okay, series、uh, wage arts and format selection under this, and then we're going to click fill the line. Uh, line at, at, which is right here. Marker in the format series pen. Uh, marker in the series pan, and uh, expand fill right here. So expand fill, click solid fill, solid fill, and then um, black for the color. We're going to black. Okay, and then expand border. Border is right here, and select no line. 
no line, border no line, okay. And then close the format. Series pen. This step completes the chart, which um, is now informative as well as professional looking. In a